Hey Pisces, how are you doing today? Welcome back to the channel if you're returning and welcome if you're new. It's so lovely to have you here. This is a channel for anyone with a significant Pisces placement or if you just vibe with the Pisces energy, you're so welcome. And I hope everything is going brilliantly in your world today. Yesterday we had this amazing reading. I mean, it was like something I've never experienced before. And it wasn't just the cards. We had these double lions literally lined up next to each other. But the energy, your your energy that I was feeling and sensing when I was doing the reading had completely shifted. There was just this level of certainty and trust in the universe, but trust in yourself, trust in your strength and your courage and your fearlessness in your magic. And where that's going to take you, let's unfold and see. So we've got our lion energy back here. We've got the unicorn, which had it was in the tarot. Um, it's a slightly wobbly unicorn. This unicorn's had a, a couple of battles with life, so that's fine. Um, that's kind of where we're all at. And we've got a tree of life here as well. well it's, um, uh, obviously, you can only see it down onto the camera, but there's a there's a real branch in your life that has just not just started to grow, but I think start, started to started to flower, started to bear fruit. Okay, intuition. Listen to the whispers of your heart. Use divina divination tools to help you decide. Trust your intuition no matter what. Okay, beautiful. And compassion. Gosh, we had compassion yesterday as well. Be gentle with yourself. Forgiveness will set you free. See the light in yourself and others. Okay, so very in tune with yourself. Very in tune with your emotions. Very in tune with... Uh, kindness and compassion but compassion also means sometimes you have to be um, well first of all compassionate with yourself before you're compassionate with other people because that means that you're in a stable balanced centered grounded place and then being self-compassionate means that you can sometimes be compassionate in a way that's also firm release release anything that keeps you from your path of authenticity and we have got no limitations. Wow, you are a celestial being with unlimited potential. There is much for you to share. I'm getting an image of you based, like cutting a cord of, um, like, uh, you know, a hot air balloon when you're grounded and you're held down. And I've got an image of you cutting the cord of being held down and just allowing yourself to rise up and up and up and up into the into the atmosphere, into the air, into the into the limitless potential that is you and knowing, knowing where to guide yourself to. Okay. The thing about a hot air balloon as well is that it's it goes with the flow. It's not trying to force itself anywhere. It has to work with the elements. It has to work with the energy of nature. Wisdom, releasing your wisdom, releasing your guidance and wisdom into the world. Look at that. Look the power. We've got this beautiful spiral energy, which is very much about life force. And we have got protect your ideas. Interesting. Okay. You know, I'm just going to pause and just adjust the light slightly. Okay. That's better. We've got that one. We've got that one first. And... Nope. There, there we go. We have got the Wheel of Fortune. Wow, gosh, we had that yesterday as well. We've got the Six of Cups. There could be somebody coming back from your past. The Fool, a leap of faith, a new beginning, a new start. When, when you release yourself, you're able to take a leap of faith. When you trust your intuition and you trust your wisdom, you trust your knowledge, you trust that what you have to share is really, really important in this world, then you can start to move things forward for yourself. You just release the hold, the need to please other people, to hold yourself back. For some of you, there is a Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is a very happy energy. It's also an energy of nostalgia. It's an energy of being in harmony. It can be an energy of being in harmony with somebody who you've known for a long period of time, or it can be a reunion energy as well. So for some of you, it could be that you have, you're prepared to take a leap of faith into your happiness, into your destiny, something that you have been perhaps dwelling on for a long period of time. Here with Protect Your Ideas and the Six of Cups coming in together, I am getting this sense that 
some people who you've known for a long period of time will get what you want to do and some people won't. And with the protect your ideas, it's important to be compassionate to the people who are not going to get you, particularly if they've known you as who they think they know you as um, for a long period of time. And they've been happy putting you in a box and thinking that that's who you are. Sometimes some people will never get what it is that we're going to do when we've moved ourselves forward if they haven't. So, for example, you could have a friend, a best friend that you've known for many, many, many years, and they know you as a certain energy. You've moved yourself forward. They haven't. If you try to discuss what it is that you want to do with them, you're going to get a mixed reception. Some of your longstanding friends will slowly get you or they'll start taking leaps of faith forward and some won't. And it's really important. You just treat everybody with the compassion that shows that they're at where they're at. But first of all, you put your self-compassion first. Because occasionally you'll get a friend who is so stuck that they'll end up holding you back. But you're taking a leap forward. It's you that's taking the leap forward. It doesn't mean to say that everybody's going to take a leap forward with you. This leap forward that you're taking is really moving you. It's it's happy. It's fun. It's perhaps something you've been dreaming about for a long period of time, which is releasing yourself to be to be the potential that you're born to be. Dignity. Take pride in yourself and all that you have become. Feel honoured by your choices, achievements and actions. I love that. Are you going to go there? No, I felt like you wanted to go there, but it's not going to fit. So we'll go here. And we've got a pilgrimage. You're on a journey to your own greatness. Your soul is longing to find the way. Only you can choose your path. Yeah. Okay. This is a real message here. This is your leap of faith forward. It's your destiny. It's your wisdom. It's your intuition. It's your ideas. It's your unlimited being. You have chosen the path of dignity. You have chosen the path of allowing yourself the freedom to be yourself. Some people won't be able to get there. So just give them some compassion, send them on their way, or don't even send them on their way out of your life. Just, just carry on doing what you're doing. And um, allow yourself the gift of showing other people with dignity where they're not necessarily energetically aligned with you. The Emperor, wow. Organization, structure, leadership, seven of earth, investment, assessment, and patience. And we have got the six of fire, success, recognition, and self-esteem. And the two of water, wow, partnership, commitment, and reconciliation. All right. All right. Pisces. Let's just get this. We have got a wrench. Yeah, releasing, releasing the wrench. That's incredible. And then we got a bird. No limitations. But this is a but. This is a dove. This is a this is a sign of peace. Somebody's releasing themselves to come in and give you a message of peace, Pisces. They could be an emperor. This is somebody who's been watching you. They've been investing in themselves. They've seen you investing in yourself. This doesn't have to be somebody else. It can be that you've just been investing in your wisdom. You've been investing in leading your life the way that you want to lead to grow to harvest, to express yourself, to follow your dreams, to lead your life, to find your successes. And you're going to be successful for some of you in relationship with someone else, someone who feels very, very compassionate towards you. You might already be with this person. There's a deepening of your connection in that play, in that case. There is a There is a journey that you're going within that is helping someone else to go within, or somebody from your past is coming back to reconcile with you, or somebody new is coming in to partner with you, to go on a pilgrimage with you, to help you and you to help them. They may, You might not have met them. They could be a sole contract that you haven't come into union with yet here with this Six of Cups. Everything's coming into alignment for you. When you connect with somebody, whether it's a new romantic relationship, whether it's an existing romantic relationship where there's just kind of like almost like a restructuring, there's a there's a harvest coming in where you're about to enter an era together that is going to be very, very, very beautiful, very dignified, 
maybe you might want to go on a pilgrimage together. Maybe you want to travel together here. You're on this journey to your own greatness. You're inspiring somebody else to do the same. Somebody who's very, very emotionally mature because you're very emotionally mature. Somebody who's successful because you're successful. Somebody who's compassionate because you're compassionate. Somebody who's got a lot of intuition and wisdom because you've got a lot of intuition and wisdom. Okay, there is a coming together. There's The destiny is bringing you into alignment with something that has been supposed to be yours for a long period of time and it's and it's really really happy it's it's harmony it's this is this is harmony and a message of peace somebody's flying in with a message of peace or you're ready to fly out with a message of peace into the world and that is going to bring you huge happiness and harmony you're coming into alignment with yourself that's the key you're coming into alignment with yourself and in doing so you're going to be coming into alignment with people who are in alignment with themselves and some people who are not in alignment with themselves, just protect your ideas from them. Just protect yourself from them. They don't need to know everything that, about what you're doing, okay? All right, so this is lovely. There is something where you're feeling free to accept. You're feeling free to be close to somebody. You're feeling free to be um, trusting in who you are, releasing, releasing yourself. This, no limitations. Amazing, okay with a wrench as well, right next to release. Releasing anything that keeps you from your path of authenticity. Other people will not have reached their path of authenticity yet. That is just the way the world is. So you don't need to take them with you. You don't need to rescue other people. That's their job to rescue themselves. You can just be yourself and that in turn will be a guiding light for other people. We have got here intention be clear and decisive focus on what you really want be bold with your request to the universe look at the wings on that wow 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 goddess honor your divine feminine energy see your inner beauty lovely every part of you look at that energy it is so beautiful if there are bits of you that you are wishing were a different size a different shape a different a different um, aspect that you saw perhaps when you look in the mirror or, you know, your wobbly, lumpy, bumpy bits that many of us have were, are, are externally not what you think are amazing. When Just realise that when people connect to you, they connect to your energy. They don't connect to how you look or feel. Sorry, or how you look. They connect to how you feel. So if you feel good, no matter what, you are energetically very, very, very attractive. If you are going through pain, if you're going through hardship, then your energy isn't as attractive. It's not as easy for people to connect to. People who are in pain are not energetically people that we like to naturally go towards. Some of us might if we're, we're sort of um, people who want to save save others in trauma, but most people who want to connect on a on a romantic relationship where there's peace and happy and harmony are connecting because you're in balance, because your energy is in balance, not how you look on the outside. It's how you make people feel when they come into contact with your energy. Ladybug, good luck. Wow, you are a bright energy. There we go. You can't make it up if you try. Let worry go and be happy here and now. Feel good about being a loving and colourful you. You bless the world with colour and good luck. I love that. And we have got Snow Leopard, self-reliance. You are strongly independent and often solitary. Integrity is important for your best outcome. Cloak yourself with invisibility and walk with the shamans. Use your intuition and let your life unfold in silent perfection. Okay. Magnificence, my goodness. You are amazing, magnificent, and unique, but most importantly, you are enough. Wow, and freedom. Follow your heart and nurture your soul with love and the freedom to grow. Pisces, this is a very empowering and a very uplifting message. Like I said, there's this, just this, this step change in belief, in self-belief, in belief about the energy, in a belief about the magic, in belief about the power within okay so when we say we connect to the universe 
many people will say, well, yes, you know, I, I have my beliefs. I, I know, I know that there is, I know that there is an energy there, but what we fail to do is recognize the energy that is inside of us. That is the same energy. Okay. The energy that we believe in on the outside of us is the same energy that's inside of us. And that's why we need to believe in ourselves because then we're believing truly believing in the energy. And you can call that energy what you want. You can call it God. You can call it the universe. You can call it any name that you want. But it is the same energy that renders us. It's the same energy that's inside of us. And when we say what I was experiencing yesterday, that you're connecting to your source energy, it's not just about belief that there is this magnificent energy on the outside of us. It is a realization that that is the magnificence of the energy that is on the inside of you. And when we close ourselves off to it, because our ego thinks we're not good enough, then we don't feel good to be around. When we open ourselves up to being in that best place of ourselves, that best sense of self, then our energy feels amazing to be around. No matter what we think we look like on the inside, on the outside, our energy feels amazing. Wow. This is a card I've never drawn before. It has no words on it. I'm going to go to the guidebook and find out what it's about. And we have got a heel. What is mending? Purple cornflower. Okay, I'm going to find out about these cards. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, here we have got the purple cornflower. Everyone experiences times of feeling weak, vulnerable, angry, or frustrated, often unaccountably and unexpectedly. Today is all about reclaiming the way that you move through life's more challenging emotions. Name discomfort, feel pain, is a normal part of healing. Purple cornflower offers you to hold her in her comforting blanket and borrow her strength and be willing to expose your own heart. Choose to believe that the healing is happening and focus instead on opening a wide, opening wider and wider and wider to the light. And this is the sun. Isn't that beautiful? The sun energy. It is the most beautiful, joyful energy. So set your intention for joy. You're healing your relationship with yourself, Pisces. You're healing your relationship with source energy. You're healing your relationship with the universe. You're healing your relationship in doing that with everybody else you're healing your relationship between your ego and your soul so that is the most fundamentally damaged relationship that we all carry around inside of us and then we project it onto other people and have relationships that don't quite work for us many of us a lot of the time because we don't have a good relationship with our soul we don't have a good relationship with source energy whatever we're worshiping on the outside of us is the same energy on the inside of us and that is so fundamental to understand and to heal the relationship between ego and soul. Okay. Wow. Oh my goodness. White stag protector. <laughs> you are an old soul, your best friend in nature. Use your intuition to take you where you want to go. Awaken to the powerful force within you. You're meant to create blessings with your magic. And we have got moose and wisdom. Let your head and mind reach to the stars. Let you yet keep your feet grounded on the earth listen to the ancient wisdom in your soul the ancestors speak through you you know much and we've had wisdom twice now you have incredible capability pisces it's unique it's something's happening fast for you with it you're being very protected okay we have justice we have the Queen of Wands and we have the Knight of Wands. Two Knights. There's a real step of change. There's a actions happening. I feel, I, I actually feel that the universe is doing a lot for you behind your back at this point in time. What feels like luck isn't luck. Setting intentions is bringing you joy, it's bringing you freedom, it's bringing you, it's bringing you capability that you never knew that you had, because your wisdom here, not only are you embracing and accepting and allowing your wisdom to flow through you, you're starting to learn that if you protect the integrity of your soul and you protect the integrity of your energy, you protect the energy of your creativity, 
you start to shine from the inside out the light of your the light of your eyes is changing i bet if you look in the mirror you'll start to see a glow coming out of your eyes that you've never seen before things are really happening you're taking leaps of faith two two we've got the, the knight and the queen of wands your creativity your cr cr courage your passion for life your determination to be yourself, to be free, to to bring things into balance for yourself, to to find fairness, to make decisions that are all about doing the right thing for you, doing the right thing to allow yourself the freedom and doing that with daring and ambition and speed, things are shifting for you really, really, really fast. What is mending? You're healing the relationship that you have with your energy, with source energy, with the source within your soul. You're letting your light shine, Pisces. Sun, joy, happiness is coming. This is, you're freeing yourself. Freeing yourself to be yourself. Freeing yourself to help free other people to be themselves. That's ultimate freedom. You're amazing. Look at this. You are amazing, Pisces. You are absolutely amazing. Okay, we've got a few more cards to go. What else do we want to know for Pisces today? We've got a central energy. We're going to do a spread and get a couple of cards to go with it. Those two want to go together. A couple of charms. We have got a squirrel. Goodness, we had a squirrel yesterday. And we have got the steps. Yeah, you're, it's actually like a bookcase, but you're, you've been walking up the bookcase of work learning your wisdom has just been building and building and building you've been so busy learning about life learning about energy learning about how to build a new branch on your tree of life six of air relief hope moving on okay some kind of travel it's like relief you have got yourself there you've got yourself into karma waters two of fire planning partnership progress five of water we've got five of cups that's disappointment here we've got the moon intuition and revelation four of ours we've got uh, frugalness wow we've got the empress here and we have got the dreamer and the high priestess oh my goodness me wow all right pisces if you're new to my channel this is a spread that i have created in the, in the middle is the energy that you're projecting okay the central energy the biggest energy in today's reading that i'm picking up is that you have moved yourself to a calmer waters you have got there you have been on a journey we had the albatross yesterday going on long 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 distances and here we are you've land you've got land you're about to land you're in the place of steady state you've got there okay you've got there so here we've got um this is your ego energy this is your soul energy this is your physical uh so like the physicality, your physical energy or your material world energy, this is your um, emotional energy and this is your spiritual energy. So this is what I'd call like the lowest vibration. It's not the lowest, but it's your ego in the material world. And here we have got your soul in the spiritual world. Pisces, your soul in the spiritual world is the dreamer, which is the fool. It is the new beginning. It is a new beginning where you live your life from your high priestess energy, pure Pisces energy, intuition, wisdom, patience. We've got intuition and wisdom again. We've got that's three lots of wisdom. We've got two lots of intuition. We've got the dreamer beginning, believing, protected. This is the start of something new where you are totally and utterly in tune with your energy, with your intuition, with with the the dream of being a spiritual being that is helping people find balance in a material world you maybe have somebody that you know who are very close to a maternal figure or a an ancestor who is looking over you allowing you to be childlike maybe a dog as well allowing you to be childlike allowing you to really embrace your intuition but also your wisdom look we've got this scroll here okay you are stepping into your divine power now today here it is you've landed you've moved yourself to that place that long, 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 long journey that we saw yesterday that culminated in this incredible adopting of your lion energy. Here we are. Here at the Tour of Fire, planning partnership progress. You might be coming into union with somebody. You're certainly coming into union with yourself. You have got harmony, cooperation, partnerships where you're doing things, looking out into the world and creating opportunities that are long-term, that are strategic, that are divinely guided here with this feather. 
Okay, that is all happening for you. And why is it happening? Because you recognize that you were not listening to your soul. You were fed up with life in a material world where you were being disappointed, disappointed that you were not able to have and achieve the life, the love, everything that you are wanting. Your emotional energy, your intuition was saying, look, there's more for you here. You don't have to be frugal. You don't have to control your finances. Four, four, we're protecting you. Sorry, control your finances when you need to, but you don't have to believe that you're only worth a certain amount. You are worth anything that you want to be. You have to see beyond the illusion of humans' creative um, concept that money is limited. Money is something humans created, something that they still create, where you create money through what you give out into the world and somebody valuing that. So you have to learn how to value yourself and you learn have to learn that it's your creativity that is applied to something that other people are seeking, whether that's your wisdom, whether that's something that you actually make. That is how you grow your wealth. And you've seen beyond the illusion of the human concept. You've listened to your emotions. You've followed your instincts. We've got the high priestess energy and the moon. The real, real, real deep Pisces knowing where you listen to your emotions <clears throat> excuse me you have come into contact with your feelings perhaps you've been guided by two dogs i know i was okay and then here your ego is claiming your empress energy that is the creative life force that flows through us no matter what gender you are it is grounding to reality your self-compassion your belief that you are worthy that your belief that you're able to have what you want and here you are you have been doing the hard work you've done the hard work you are at a place where you have moved yourself to calmer waters. Water sheep, wait and listen. Okay, here is our instruction from the universe. Wait and listen. Fire, rat, rat light and shadow. Something's going to be illuminated very, very, very soon. What is it? What has this all been about? There is, as soon as you touch land, you're touching land. There's something that is going to be revealed to you soon about what's next. Ascension. Wow, your soul is evolving to higher states of consciousness. You are ready for this. And abundance. Wow. When your heart's intention is to serve humanity, doors of abundance naturally open. That's the journey you've been on, Pisces. You've been on this journey to find your place in this world that is about helping people have a better life experience and look. We have got the Pisces fish. Well, Pisces has been doing the work. And we have got, wow, and we've got a butterfly transformation. Sometimes I think these are moths as well. You are now, people are just a moth to your flame. I am in awe. I'm just getting two more of these. I'm really in all Pisces. We're just going to finish off with these two lovely magical cards. We have got energy. Wow. Life force is flowing. Open yourself to receive the power from within and flexibility. That's that same fish here. Gently flow through the turbulence. Life has the ability to shape you. Bend, don't break. This is what you have been doing, Pisces. You have been learning how to go with the flow, to read energy, to understand energy, to realize that life is all about energy. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. This is a unbelievable confirmation that whatever shift we've picked up over the last day or two is totally down to the fact that you have at a soul level, allowed your soul and your intuition to lead, to allow yourself to feel your emotions, to allow yourself to see beyond your limitations, your belief that you're not worthy, your belief that you think that you're, you're only worth so much. You have learned energy. You have learned flexibility. You have learned to go with the flow. I don't know where I want to put these. Somehow they feel like they're out of sequence. Let's put them there. That's probably where they were in the first place. Okay, that's a bit better. They're kind of flexed in here. You have 
learned to let go of things that have disappointed you. You have learned from the things that have disappointed you. You have learned that you needed the disappointments in order to see the bigger picture, in order to see who you're meant to be with, who your creative life force is supposed to partner with. You have adopted an energy of self-compassion, of creativity, of allowing yourself to accept your own intelligence. You have adopted an attitude of wanting to find happy and moving yourself no matter what it took, no matter how long the journey was. You have sailed across the Pacific Ocean in a little vessel looking for better for yourself, looking for peace, harmony, wealth, happiness, ultimate partnership. And here you are, you're about to touch land. Maintain your flexibility. Know that life is all about energy and wait and listen. Light and shadow, things are going to be revealed. I can't wait to see what's coming over the next few days. Pisces, I'm going to leave it there. Before I go, I'd just like to ask you to give yourself an unbelievable amount of congratulations for just how incredible and how far you have come on life's journey and you know what it's only going to get better from here on in okay thank you so much take care bye